Now we're gonna go over how to set up a third party smart home product to your Google Assistant in the home app. So this is if you have something like Philips Hue smart lights or LG appliances or something else that works with the Google Assistant and you wanna use your Google Assistant and your Google Homes to control those devices. You first have to go and independently set up those devices in whatever app they use. So like for, for the Philips Hue, you have to go in the Hue app and set up all the lights and everything like that. Then you'll come into the Google Home app and you'll go and click add device and then you'll click set up device right here at the top. Now you have two options here and the first option you'll use if you're setting up a Google product. So if you're setting up a new Google Home or a Nest um, Hub Max or whatever they're calling it these days, this is where you're gonna wanna go. You'll go to that first option to set up those devices. If you wanna set up a third party device, you're gonna go and click on the second option. Now this is also a little confusing right now. It, I'll just let you know if you know, own any Nest products. If they're a Nest thermostat, camera, stuff like that, you're gonna go ahead and set them up like a third party device at the time of this recording. That could probably change. Um, but just know you'll go there. If you have like a Nest Home Hub, you know, the Google Home Hub with a screen and a camera um, that just recently came up, you'll go and do the first option, which I know is a little confusing probably will change soon, but I'll update the video if it does. But just giving you a heads up. So we're gonna go ahead, because we're setting up a third party device, we're gonna go ahead and click on the second option. Now you can see there's a bunch of different um, companies and products you can add. You can scroll through this whole list, um, or you can just uh, search for what you're looking for. So we're gonna go search LG, and you'll see the LG Thin Smart Thin Q um, branding name. So you'll go ahead and tap on that, and that will pull up the login page. And from here, again, you should have already set this up through the LG app already and made an LG account and everything. So you'll sign into that same LG account that you've already made. And once you've done that, it'll link everything to your Google Home app. And when you actually go all the way back, it'll pop up in here and then you can go and add your stuff to rooms and things like that. Um, if you're shopping for smart home products and you're not sure if a product is gonna work with the Google Home and your Google Assistant or not, because um, sometimes that can be not well marked, if you just go back here to where you would set up a third party home device and just search for that company um, or whoever it might be, right? you can kind of see and find them and then go, okay, it's probably gonna work then. Um, and go ahead and make that purchase if that's your decision. But that's how you go and set up uh, third party devices and accounts um, for smart home products not made by Google. And again, once you're done, you'll go in here um, and they'll probably be listed at the bottom and you can tap on each device and add them to a room. But we'll go over how to add products to rooms in a separate video.